Are you super tired of dull, boring, and flat hair? Are you actually unsure of how to create volume from the time that you blow dry so that you can actually style your hair with some volume beforehand? If that's the case, then you might wanna go ahead and stick around because today I'm gonna to teach you how to go from this to this, all with blow drying and a few simple products. If that interests you, then go ahead and keep watching because I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it right now. Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. If you've been here for a bit, if you are new, I'm super glad that you are here today. My name is Lauren Carone and my channel is all about making beauty easy for the girl who thinks that she can't. My hope today is that you will consider subscribing and even hitting that notification bell that's somewhere up there so that you can get alerts every time I upload new videos, which is every single Friday. I also have a Facebook group that is a private community that I just launched a few weeks ago. And in this group, we're sharing tips, asking questions, talking about products. I'm actually going live once a week for my weekly show called Contour and Converse, where I usually create a makeup look and sometimes a hairdo if I have enough time. And if that's something that interests you and you wanna be a part of a community of people just like you and me, then go ahead and click that link in the description box and join that today. I'm also gonna ask that if you're loving this video and excited about the content that is coming your way for voluminous hair through blow drying and a few products, that you would go ahead and smash that thumbs up button because it seriously helps me out so very much. With all of that said, let's actually jump into today's topic, which is voluminous hair via the blow dryer and a few tips and products that I use for fine hair especially, but it will work for any hair type. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump to me with the wet hair, seriously fresh out of the shower for y'all, and teach you exactly what I do from start to finish in the blow dry and the products so that you can see how I get some big hair that I keep all week long. Let's get to it. All right, you guys, so excited to show y'all how I actually get volume from my blow dry. This is definitely a requested video that I have gotten on YouTube, on Instagram, Facebook, and even in person from people who know me. So I really wanted to give you guys a, a little like snapshot of a tutorial here. Actually, it'll be a whole tutorial, not a snapshot. But basically show you guys how I do this from start to finish. And one of the first things that I wanna show you guys is what I actually shampoo and condition my hair with. One of the things that you guys need to know is that you, if you are looking for volume in your hair, it's actually got to start from the blow dry. So a lot of times people will blow dry their hair, put zero product in it, and then expect it to do something fantastic after it's dry. And the truth of the matter is, it just won't. Anybody that you see online or in person and they have like fabulous hair, they have product in their hair. So it's really important that you know that and I wanna show you guys what I use to actually wash my hair, condition my hair, and then the things that I'm gonna be putting in my hair for you guys before we actually start the blow dry process. So let's start with shampoo and conditioner. Um, and P.S., I hope you guys like my kimono or kimono if you watch New Girl, that's a Schmidt quote. Um, this is something my sister-in-law got me. It's super cute and I'm trying to keep this as realistic for you guys as possible. So I literally have on a sports bra underneath of this and we are doing this like how I would do this if I was getting ready for the day. And for me, washing my hair for the week, that's what y'all are getting. So here we go. Shampoo and conditioner. So the shampoo and the conditioner that I am actually using in my hair right now is from Ken and these are actually volumizing shampoo and a volumizing conditioner. I typically go to beauty brands um, every single year whenever they do their semi-annual liter sale because you can get liters for so stinking cheap. Usually these run anywhere from like 20 five to thirty dollars a bottle and during the leader sale they run about half that sometimes a little bit more off and so every june i think it is june i buy leaders from beauty brands and it takes me forever to get through um, all of my products in fact i still have um other shampoo and conditioner in my bathroom that lance is still using in the shower so um but i wanted to show you guys what i use today and where i get that i don't think that sale is still going on now but of course i'll link everything down below for you guys that i use today the second thing that I use in my hair after we wash it and get out is going to be this Pravana um, full volume, uh, volumizing foam is what this is. So I'm going to start and use that first. And you guys can see that it's totally like a foamy um, uh, product. And I actually will take this, rub it in my hands, and then we'll just kind of run it through. I mainly go into the crown of my head. and I will bring it up through the front as well. The main thing you wanna remember is once you put your products in, <clears throat> I usually like to let my hair air dry on its own for about 10 minutes, 
and I try to put my products in immediately after I get out of the shower. I didn't do that today because obviously I'm filming, so I put on a wee bit of makeup, and then here I am actually doing this for you guys. So I actually just had to run my hair under the kitchen sink to get it wet again so that it was actually getting too close to being dry on its own. So I usually do that right when I get out of the shower, and then I'll let it air dry for a few minutes. The next product that I have been using lately is going to be the Bumble and Bumble um, Thickening Spray. And I absolutely love this because what it does is it supposedly blows up that hair shaft a little bit. Um, now, the one I was using before that is the Aveda Thickening Tonic. Um, and this is a really great product too. I just tend to like the results actually a little bit better of the thickening spray. From what I do know about the Aveda thickening tonic, it does actually blow your hair shaft up about 30%. I'm not sure if this one does that to this extent, but I actually like the results that I am getting from the Bumble and Bumble just a little bit better. Both of these are stellar products though, and I actually have used one and then used the other on top of it just to see if there was a different result. And I did get a pretty nice blowout last time. So um, I'm only gonna show you guys this one today just because I'm trying to keep it like simple for you guys so you don't have to buy a billion products. Um, the other thing I wanna tell you guys as I'm spraying this in my hair, I will do it from root to end, kind of all over. P.S. Don't love the smell of this one. Do love the smell of this one. And then we'll go to the other side. Um, I did not come up with these techniques on my own, just so you guys know. I have followed plenty of people on YouTube for years that have taught me stuff about hair, makeup, and everything else. So this is kind of like um, a, a compilation of things that I've learned from several different other tutorials, um, my own hairstylist that I use, and then people that I know that do hair. So I have fine hair, and my hair is not thick, but it's not thin, it's about a medium thickness. And this is kind of what I figured out works for my hair. I would say that if you have fine hair, these products would absolutely be awesome for you to use um, for your hair so that you can actually get it to do something with a blow dry. Um, you guys will see here, um, if I don't do anything with my hair at all, for instance, if I was just to let it air dry or blow dry on its own, it would literally hang from my face and be so flat. And after we get done with this blow dry, you guys are gonna see how much volume I have in my hair. And that volume will hold all week long, however I choose to wash my hair if I wait a week or if I wait less than that, it will hold until the next wash based upon the styles that I use. So the next piece of action here is going to be um, starting to get my hair gathered up because I do have to blow dry it by sections. This is one of the other reasons that I don't love to wash my hair more than once a week because it is a process. Um, and I just honestly get tired of the time spent blow drying. So that is why I tend to stay a little bit lazy um, with blow drying my hair. But I will say that once this is done, you just kind of get a beautiful result. So it's totally worth doing. I just don't like to do it more than once, maximum twice a week. So what I will do is gather up everything on my head other than a bottom section down here. And one of my favorite brushes to use is actually a paddle brush. I know a lot of people love to round brush their hair when they blow dry it. I have just found that that round brush does not really work for me that well. I actually am comfortable um, using a paddle brush because I've used one for so long. So that's one of the reasons I prefer that over a round brush. You could totally use a round brush if you like that better for you. Please, by all means, go ahead. It'll work the same. I just prefer a paddle brush. And then last but not least, prepare your shoulders because they will seriously get a workout from blow drying your hair. So what I'm gonna do is get started for you guys and we'll fast forward as we go from section to section so you guys aren't watching me blow dry my hair for 20 minutes, all right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab the hair underneath and then we're gonna turn the blow dryer on and get going. down and it's mostly dry but as you guys can see it has a little bit of volume back here let me kind of turn the camera um, at the root and that is what we're doing we're pulling that hair up completely up at the root and then blow drying it and I'll start to go underneath as I get a little higher on my head but for here I just really focus on pulling it up at the brush and running that blow dryer over it and I love that I actually have didn't mean to move the camera, but I actually have just a little bit of a hump going back here, which is gonna help create that volume as we start to actually style the hair after it's dry. So let's go into the next section. So we'll just pull it on down. 
Oh, no. There we go. And you guys can use more than this, like more hair than what I'm using per section. Um, I just try not to get too much out so that I can really make sure that it has in fact gotten dry. So we'll just wad the rest of it back up on my head. And then we will get the hair dryer back out and get started once again. Okay, so that is the second section, and as you guys can see, I'm starting to really get some shape through here, which is nice. Um, this section, not quite as much, probably because I got a wee bit lazy with it, and that tends to be what happens, just because I get tired, just being honest. We will keep going here, section by section, and pull a little bit more down. And it is getting really hot in this bathroom, let me just say that. I'm starting to sweat, which is not ideal. <laughs> I am in my guest bathroom today doing this for you guys because I just feel like I have a little bit better set up. My other bathroom is huge, but, and this one is not, but it, for whatever reason, the lighting just works a wee bit better in here. So, but I do have every door shut, so it is um, getting a little hot. So now what we're gonna do is take the next section and I will actually start to dry that one for you. So here we go. section and we are still getting quite a bit of volume going so now we're going to start to move toward the top and let's see so the other thing to tell you guys too is that um, my hair is not going to be super soft when this is done it's actually going to have a lot of grab and a little bit of grit um, so if you are again blow drying your hair expecting it to feel really soft or you like that then you probably are not going to love this technique because um, your hair will not be soft to the touch where you can run your fingers through it. It has product in it, and that product is what's gonna give you that volume. So just wanted to throw that out there to you guys. And now we are gonna start the back section back here. wet pieces but that's pretty normal you guys and I totally forgot to bring a comb in here to section this off so I'm doing it by hand which is a little bit more of a challenge for me so we'll just throw this back here and then the rest of this will be for the part here in a second the other thing I'm sure you guys are noticing about this is that um, it's not as smooth as what it looks like at the salon I have not mastered the techniques of how those girls round brush and I was just curious like for them if any hairstylists are even watching this do you like kind of do your hair in sections is it easier for you to do your clients um, because I just have not figured out how to make it as smooth looking as it does at the salon so if it's kind of bumpy for you if you will blow drying your hair clearly you can see from my video it's normal that's how I do mine so here we go starting to sweat pretty bad so that's not good um, obviously <laughs> I'm trying not to sweat profusely while I do this but there's just no airflow in here right now even with the AC pumping the hairdryer is just hot okay 
So what I'm going to do is, um, typically what I do is I'll blow dry my hair pretty much down the center so that if I want to part left, right, or in the center at any given time, I can throughout the week with ever, or however I style my hair. If you part to the right, blow dry to the right. If you part to the left, blow dry to the left. Um, so one of the things to remember, and again, I totally forgot my teasing comb, so this isn't going to be as, or my rat tail comb isn't smooth as I would like it, or even as I would like it. So we're just going to fake it is um, if you part, let's say you part on this side of your head, you actually want to blow dry that hair, so you wanna pull it over this way and then start blow drying it section by section because that's gonna give it more volume when it lays this way. So keep that in mind, and I'm gonna do mine a little bit of both ways so that you guys can see how I get volume on each side, even though the part's gonna be kind of uneven. So let me give this kind of a brush through because we still have some wet pieces, but you guys can see how much volume I already have in my hair. It's kind of big and especially at the bottom, it's big. So that is good news because that is what we are going for. Let me just give it a little comb through. And then what we'll do is we'll pull this side over here and then we'll blow dry from this section over. All right, here we go. So as you guys can see, look at how much volume that gives me right through here, which is really nice, all because I blow dry it the opposite way of which way I want it to lay. So keep that in mind, that will definitely help. So let's do this side and then we will actually be done. So this is actually how it is blown out when it's dry. You can see, I mean, it looks really frizzy even though it's not. It is huge, but there is a lot of texture, volume, and I've got grit in there. It's really tough to run my fingers through it, um, but this is great because now when I style it, I will actually have a lot of volume. I mean, I think for me, it's super cool just to even pull it to the side that way and see how high that it stands up naturally on its own. So again, lots of texture, lots of grit you will have from these products, but that is what's gonna give you volume. So let me go ahead and brush this out and I'm actually gonna use um, this Tangle Teaser. Um, this is something I found from another YouTuber on here that is super amazing. It does not rip out your hair. And I actually use this um, to brush out my tees at night too. But this is a great brush, wet or dry. So I'll link that for you guys down below. You can get it off Amazon, it is amazing. So I'll just give it a brush through. And as you guys can see, I have, it feels like I have so much hair. I mean. I don't ever have this full, like if I were to just let it air dry or blow dry without any products, it would not be this thick trying to hold it into my hands. So that's what's really beautiful about this is you just get a nice full head of hair even if you don't have that naturally. And so if you have thinner hair or you have fine hair, again, this is a great way to actually get volume in your hair for a style. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial today. I really enjoyed showing you guys exactly what products I put in my hair from the time that I shampoo it all the way through to the blow dry and hope you guys got a lot of information out of this as well. My question for you down below would be this. If you are currently using products in your hair to get volume, what are they? Drop me a couple of lines in the comments. Let's kind of chat about this. And then if you're not using products um, for your hair, what did this video help you with that you might wanna go ahead and start trying for your blow drying experience to get all this volume in your hair? Let me know down in the comments. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you have not had a chance to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and do that now so that you don't miss any more videos. They do come out every single Friday. And of course, connect with me on social media. I would love to see your pictures. If you guys do try this and it works for you, please tag me. Or if it doesn't, please tag me and I will help get you an answer that will totally help you out in the future. So until then, I will see you guys next week in my next video. Hashtag Reform Tomboy Family. I'll see y'all next week.